Hello, foodie beauties. <laughs> well, hello there. Did you know that you can request a private video from me made just for you that you can keep forever and ever? Yep, that's right. I can wish you or a loved one a happy birthday or even give you a pep talk. I'm in Kuwait, so if you want a cameo at a specific location like a nice beach or a mall, just let me know. Get yours today and don't delay. Well, hello, beautiful people. Am I crooked? The table's creaking, sorry. Hello. Okay. I'm hot and sweaty, but I'm sweaty. So I have a glass of ice. I didn't, I just, I have to mix my drink. Unimate. Okay. Here we go. Um, yeah, so here's the pasta, chicken pasta. It looks like it is a big plate, but the inside, and I spread the pasta out, you know, so it's not like a mountain. <laughs> I'm just going to mix my drink. Water. I can find a lift. Shake, 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 shake your unimate. All right, let's pour. Refreshing, sugar-free lemon tea drink. Well, your mate is like herbal tea, but whatever. All right, bismillah, we have some pickles. We have some parm, because you know I cannot have pasta without it. This is my first meal of the day. It is 4.30 p.m. My schedule is a little off. I hate these little chunks that you have to kind of, you know, <laughs> break apart yourself. All right, let's start with the, let's break our fast with the pickle. Now these pickles taste different. You can see the herbs at the bottom. They have tarragon garlic and they're, they're, um, they don't have dill. Mmm. They're really good. Instead of dill, they have tarragon. So here's the whole wheat chicken pasta. Before you come for me, which you will anyway, but uh, I'm seeing an endocrinologist about my diabetes and he is, um, I don't know if it's because he, of his cultural background, um, I think he's like, I think he's Indian. So he like really um, seems to favor vegetarian food and he likes carbs within limits, but um, whole grain or whole wheat. Except rice, white rice, he says, like the palm of your hand plus half. Um, this is like two cups of cooked spaghetti. <laughs> so what I'm doing is I have my fitness pal downloaded and they don't let you lose over two, like they don't program more than two pounds per week weight loss. They deem that a healthy rate. So I'm allowed like 18, 1,800 and like something odd calories. I'll post it here. And they want me to walk 6,000 steps a day. That's going to take me like an hour, an hour and a half. It takes a regular person about an hour, apparently. You guys... Oh my gosh, the chicken flavor. Mm. 
The whole wheat pasta is actually really nice. It doesn't taste much different. There's more of a bite to it. And it's healthier, more fiber. Mmm. That is delicious. I love it, wow. So I think I'm gonna be going walking at night. If I do go, you'll get a video. If not, I'll have to start tomorrow. I had really bad pain today. Um, I just like, Oh, so I woke up, took a pain pill, went back to bed. It's just like a, it's like a strong Advil. It's not anything else. It's not like a narcotic or anything, but, and I slept a while, but when I woke up, the pain was mostly gone. <laughs> Shish. <laughs> it doesn't taste like fake sugar I love that so this pasta is amazing good job Chantel mm. oh I wanted to ask you, do you prefer cooking videos where I'm showing my whole self in the kitchen? Or do you prefer just clips like what I'm uh, showing you here? I'll show you, I better get to that. So basically what I did for this pasta, I boiled the noodles in the rice cooker. You can totally cook pasta in the rice cooker. It's very fast. Um, added a bit of sea salt. Himalayan pink salt is what I use. I had two leftover chicken carcasses with some breast still on it. And I thought, what am I going to make it? But I'm craving pasta. So, and I don't have any ground beef in the house. So I put the carcasses with some olive, a bit of olive oil on the bottom so it doesn't stick in a pot and I let that cook down for about a minute or two on medium high and then I reduced the heat a bit and I added some water to the pot to make like a really concentrated chicken flavored broth and of course all those seasonings from the chicken roast will incorporate into that as well so it's really really yummy and one of the carcasses was store-bought and one of them like from a restaurant and one of them was the one I made and I noticed the seasonings on the one I made so much better so <sighs> okay okay I'll come down off my high horse so um, I figure like and I'm just going on a whim here so I I cook with instinct kind of like in a lot of ways so then I had like leftover uh, tomato sauce homemade garlic tomato sauce in the fridge I added that uh, I took the carcasses out and then I strained all the pieces out so it's just the broth left and then I added the tomato um, about a tablespoon of butter and a bit more sea salt a bit of onion powder because carrot and onion would be good in this but I, I can't add veggies because picky eaters I guess I could add them on the side I think I'll do that from now on saute some veggies on the side and add it in for myself now I didn't feel like separating it today I guess <laughs> so now um, what did I do after that then I added some I let that cook down with the tomato sauce and I added um, about a cup of sharp cheddar cheese and let it all dissolve into the sauce and a bit of parmesan maybe just a couple tablespoons 
Um, I don't have any black pepper left, so add the seasonings you want, but. Then I added the, pa the drained pasta and I rinsed it under cold water because the I don't want the noodles to bunch up. So I put it in the sauce with the chicken. I took the chicken off the the chicken carcass. I know that's a bad gross word, but whatever. I took it off the bone, so. <laughs> let it heat through um, cook down for maybe five minutes but maybe more like three minutes and then I plated it up you have an easy chicken pasta it tastes really good and it's seasoned perfectly I don't have to add salt or anything I was worried about that I love cooking with chicken I used to just get the chicken breast, but cooking the whole chicken yourself, first of all, whole chickens are cheaper here than just chicken breast. And cooking the whole chicken, you can use the leftover body and bones and things to make sauces, gravies, um, you know, stuff like that. So, yeah. This is the breast meat. I didn't, you know, Salah eats the legs usually, both legs, in one meal. But I don't usually I don't usually ever eat both breasts. So that's why there's always some left. Mmm. Bone. Mm. Make sure you remove all the bones. I had a dream that Again, my heat dry was off for some reason. I hated it. It was a nightmare. <laughs> um, so anyways, um, I'm thinking of doing something. Because if I can't, there's a huge issue, particularly with me. People like to stream snipe directly my content when I go live. Meaning it gives people an opportunity to not watch my stream on my channel. All right. And yeah, maybe some people wouldn't watch at all. That's fine, but still. There's also some reaction channels who use my entire content. I go out and do the hard work, put myself out there, and they hide behind an avatar and steal my content just to insult me or tell lies about me or whatever, attack me in some way, okay? So, I'm thinking for those people, since they won't stop and until YouTube does something about it, if they ever do,
because I can't copyright. My videos are not copyrighted, okay? So if I copyright strike somebody, you have to be willing to go to court and all that stuff, so no. And it's very hard to win those cases. So, I'm thinking of bringing back Foodie Beauty Reacts back or making the couples channel for now. Um, for those who um, stream snipe me, I'll react to their stream on that channel. And for those who just make a th two hour stream or three hour stream reacting to my vlogs, I will just re use their entire stream on my channel and use their content to make a few bucks. Even if it's five bucks a video, whatever. You know, if people who truly support me want to watch their streams but don't want to watch it through them directly and give them the view, I'll do the same thing. Mm. No, I'm not discouraging people from watching them, but because I don't know why anyone would want to watch somebody attacking the same person all the time. But anyone who just like has an entire channel about me, I'm going to make an entire channel about you guys. And I'm going to use... Every one of your videos. Because having a channel just to make fun of somebody, if there's legit criticism or things to talk about, but having a channel about one person is just wrong. Especially using all of their content. There are channels who make creative content Or react to different people and have organized streams talking about various things not just sitting there hitting the space bar and saying she's such a loser she's so fat look at her you know this and that so Even if I get 500 views or 50 views per video, it's the principle that you're getting a taste of your own medicine. Oh. So. By the way, I'll show you the macro, the, uh, I don't, don't know if they calculate the macros in the non-pro version. I'm not paying for my fitness pal. Um, <laughs> but, um, the calories and, uh, yeah. And I know it sounds like I'm being bitter about it, but... If you had a channel where you did your own content, it doesn't matter if you think it's crappy because if it's that's the case, so many people wouldn't be watching it or reacting to it, but there are some people who find it boring, okay? So if I'm boring, 
what is there to react to you know i think that there's a fine line between actual reactions and just at a point just using way too much of the content and if you go out and let's say you work hard on editing you work hard on you know going out and doing um a vlog where you're trying to better yourself and someone just steals it because they're lazy and they're coward they can't show their face and they don't have their own content because we've seen a reactor for example do their own vlogs and get way less views a fraction a fraction it's laughable compared to if they talk about me so people are not there to watch you obviously they're there to watch me and particularly hate so if you're gonna make money off of hate I'm gonna make money off of your crappy hate content and I'll make it as transformative as you do all right don't worry I'll probably just play the whole stream and just add a few oh yeah look at this that's stupid and you know I'll make a few bucks can't beat them join them but I'm not gonna be nasty I'm not gonna be super nasty like these people if there's a valid point or if there's something I want to address in an accusation then maybe I will but I'm not gonna like waste too much time on it so it'll just be in spare time um, I can work on it. Anyway, it's never a waste of time if you're earning money on something, right? So, um, so we'll see. Anyway, that's my plan. So, um, I will be giving people a taste of their medicine, people who steal my content to hate on me, and, uh, to can play this game. So, if you're a supporter, or you just are curious or you're just neutral and you just watch everything um, go subscribe to the couples channel um, or I'll, I'll let you know on a community tab keep your eyes open which channel I'm gonna use the couples channel is already monetized and has a pretty decent audience already um, <clears throat> and I don't think we'll be doing uh, couples videos anymore so like I said unfortunately um, it's just our relationship is going to be very private um, and so yeah <laughs> anyway uh, everything about my relationship um, everything will be offline so this channel will just be about me my journey things I do other than that mm -mm. All right, guys, I guess that's it for this video. The pasta, oh my gosh, I'm gonna put the recipe in the description for you. And I wanna try doing more cooking, like really getting in there, in the kitchen, um, filming different angles. Maybe I can do a mixture, like me showing me, and then placing uh, the camera over the food, different things, I gotta think of different things. <clears throat> But eventually, if I can solidly lose weight and be healthy with the recipes I make, um, I'm striving for like consistency, not perfection. You know, I'm not going to eat super clean all the time. That's just no. Uh uh. <laughs> but um, at least not now, okay? I need to start you know slowly um so i want to make like a recipe book or something or like a support group i don't know i gotta start thinking smarter about the future and like my brand and doing things but first i have to be a success story right so to inspire other people but i do get a i do get some some cameos i do get some emails and messages from people that I do help them. I do inspire them because I guess they they think that I, you know, I'm resilient. I keep going. So it's hard for me to think that way of myself, but if people other people think that that's awesome, you know? So I'm wearing my Canada sweater. <laughs>
I love black. I love wearing black. I'm going to be working on my hijabs, sewing them so that they're easier to put on. So yes. Anyway. Um, I guess that's it. Uh, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, whatever stage of life you're in. <clears throat> if you're here watching me, I appreciate it and I thank you. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.